What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic glossy floor for your renders. This is one way you can make the shot look much more cinematic, kind of like a street wet down we would do in the cinematography world. Uh, but this is this will just be the most basic way you can make such an effect through basic materials. Um, so first let's add a plane to our scene. Let's go ahead and position it in the center of our scene here. So go ahead and make these zero. And let's press S and then 1000. So now we have a very large plane to look at. First of all, make sure you're in cycles rendering because this video will be done in cycles, make that clear. Um, but once you've added this plane, what we're going to do, we're going to go to materials and then add a new material. And right now it's simply this, this white diffuse material. So what we want to do is change the properties of this. So let's go ahead and go to Mixed Shader, and then we need to choose the two materials we'll be mixing back and forth from. Um, and let's go ahead and choose one as Diffuse, and then one as Glossy. And what this is doing is this: the Mixed Shader is mixing, again, between the Diffuse and the Glossy Shader based on the factor that you provided. So if you want to make it 100% Glossy, you go to one, and you're getting kind of a nice reflective surface here. If you want to make it 100% diffuse, you go to zero, and it will go to a diffusing material. And you can choose kind of like specular maps and things to put in this factor, but for now we're going to just leave it 0.4. Essentially, that is how you create a glossy material. You can play with the roughness of the glossy material. So if you want to decrease the roughness and make it more smooth and reflective, you can go ahead and bring that down to zero. And then now we're getting some crazy reflections of the sky, which is pretty cool. Um, and then again, you can play with the roughness of the diffuse material as well. It's kind of just a matter of tweaking at this point. A lot of the time I will darken the original colors to make it a little bit more appealing to the eye, in my opinion. So play around with these settings, experiment with it, and uh, I hope you guys like this video. I'll see you guys next time.